The Super Nanny is back, and our friend Joe Frost is summoning all of her Super Nanny powers mm -hmm. to help out parents everywhere. And this season has been Incredible. on fire. Take a look. It's a struggle. It's just like a constant battle. They're like a pack of wild animals. The world has changed. We're in the technology era. You're not going to throw a temper tantrum over a phone. Yeah! I don't want to say we're in over our head, but we're in over our head. No! So many different issues and challenges. My husband is gone for months at a time. I'm parenting all alone. Yeah! We are a blended family. Oh, I just want to help him. I was married before to Archie. He ended up getting killed in a car wreck. I'm very sorry what happened to your father. Right now, it's like you're opposing teams. Kids do need their parents to step up. Do you right. I spanked him with my hand a little bit. Spanking will never be an effective tool. I was trying. I'm no. asking you to be accountable with those children. You started calling me names. Are you prepared to own the consequences of your behavior? It depends on what the consequences are. Your wife leaving you. Incredible. We are Incredible. so lucky. Please welcome Joe Frost. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. One of the things you talked about, because I thought immediately with some of this, those situations, whoop them kids, whoop them. And I mean, I don't mean, no. I don't mean like beat them. I mean, get them in line no. with a little touch. Uh, no. But you say no spanking. I get them in line with a different type of touch. Okay. Touch of reality. You That's know? what she called a ruler. It, had, it had reality, it had wisdom on the ruler. No, but you said spanking is not effective. No, it's not. It's not. And I've been showing people here in this country for 15 years how to be effective in being able to, you know, really help children to be able to articulate, express, but to have rules and boundaries that create healthier relationships, you know. And it's tough. You know, it's tough out there for a lot of parents. It's tough. Especially when you have parents that maybe this is the, the, the first time or one of the major times that they see that they have conflicting ideas on how to raise their kids. Yeah. What do you, because this, this season, you get some resistance from parents. We, uh, yeah, we do. That, we hadn't so seen we before. Us, you know, traveling around. Um, it, there are families that want the help, and the process is not always easy. I'm going to say that. And on this season, we are going to see that process where it's not easy for a lot of families and there's a lot of conflict and it's how that gets resolved and how I work with the families to bring them to a place that they're much happier. And that in itself is, uh, it takes its toll. And it really we're working does. with it older toll. children too, teenagers yes. this season. We're yeah. going to see how's that Yeah, the different? new super nanny is modern and fresh and it's looking at parenting challenges and dealing with, you know, really hot topics in society like postpartum depression and really taking a look at, you know, how family is affected with what's going on in the outside world, you know. The mm. climate right now has a lot of families uncertain. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety, yeah. you know. So addressing that mental health as well is important. And again, you know, the wellness of the entire family, looking at children of all different ages, you know, not just toddlers that were misbehaving like we know back in 2004, but any family, any dynamic, any age, I wanted the American family to know that if you needed my help, you wasn't restricted. Yeah. So. Well, what, what about, like, you, you talk about the, the, all of the other things that are happening around the family, affecting the family, when, when parents try to shield their kids from the issues that they're having. Is, it, it, is there ever a time where that is a successful endeavor? Should you shield, if you're getting a divorce, should you shield any addictions? How much should uh, No, I don't. I, when I mean, you know, that I think we have to realistically look at the balance of that, right? Mm -hmm. We can't shield our children from the realities of what's happening today in today's climate, right? When we, when we look at gun violence, right? That's a reality. We need to talk to our kids about that. Yeah. As parents, we need to be able to have the right to feel that as we protect our children that we can say, I'd love the play date, but do you carry arms and are they safe and are they locked up, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the external issues of what we're dealing with right now as a country. But at the same time, I think it's really important that we can come together and really address as adults the issues that I don't want every child to hear about. You know, how the rent's going to get paid or what's going on. Like kids, you know, at five years old, I want them singing Hickory Dickory Dock, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want them worrying about, oh my God, mommy looks anxious, mommy looks, da daddy looks really scared, like what's going to happen? And then they go to bed and they're worried, then they get anxiety. And you on know, that so you've got to find where the balance is. Balance. What about yeah. social media? We saw one thing where yeah. your dad was like, you should not be losing your mind over yeah. social. Yeah. As a parent, 
I get it. It's a, my kids live on theirs. We limit it, yeah. but it's a whole new parenting thing. Well, technology is right. You know, I, I. Again, I meet in the middle. It's like, can we find a compromise of embracing the wonders of, of technology? We're in that era. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy the entertainment of it, right? But at the same time, you don't want it to create this projection, this persona of something that's not real, that's fake. You know, and I think we do have to have regulations in our own home as well. Otherwise, mm -hmm. this technology that's supposed to keep us connected is only disconnecting us. Yeah, run them up. You know? Run us apart. Yeah. yeah. Joe, Joe, you sit right there. By the way, half our staff has cornered they, you to try to get a question. Yeah, lined up with <laughs> notebooks. <laughs> and like, like, doctor, like, Lila won't get out of my bed. Where's Michelle? Right? <laughs> what do I do? Some How do I do? Much more from Super Nanny Joe Frost.